So just let, for the newcomers, we are recording. That's fine, sorry, man. Just want to let you know. And we can rewind. As you guys, you guys are familiar with. Okay, so there's library property, so if you guys just want to go like, right up to the stairs, that's completely fine. Does that sound reasonable? That you, the you stairs understand you're right down pro, there. Yeah, the stairs right down there. On the sidewalk, on the sidewalk, right? Yeah, on the sidewalk, on the sidewalk. But it's, a, it's public property, right? So it's library's we'll public. We're trying we, to make, so we're trying, so we're trying to make it. So is library? You know what? is open to the public. Mm -hmm. But if you violate library policy by causing a disturbance, they can ask people to leave the property. Uh, so, so they can actually suppress free speech by doing that? No, they're not suppressing free speech. They're just suppressing somebody being on a property that's like violating their policy. If you violate uh -huh. li library policies, they can ask people to leave the library property. Uh -huh. So you have to go down to the sidewalk. So then what, what happens if we don't leave? Well, then you're trespassing because the library is asking you to leave uh -huh. the property. So or then, the so you would be you would be trespassing us then. Would you would you want to take a few minutes to read this letter from our attorney? Okay. And it's and it's regarding uh, specifically SOU, but it will it will okay. apply to uh, public property, which the, okay. the campus is public property. But okay. if you want to take a, a few minutes, just uh, skim Absolutely. through that, because I, you know you guys have families to feed, you have mm -hmm. careers, and I don't want you your got, career to be ruined. Do you mind if I hold on to this for? No, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have another if you copy. Want it back so at time, yeah, know, that'd okay. be great. Yeah, no problem. So you know you guys have families to feed, you got careers yeah, and stuff, yeah, you do too. And, and we can't sue the the police department. I mean, you know that we have to sue individuals, and so, and we hate to do that, but but there's a, you know, the suppression of free speech, and, and more importantly, there's the gospel of Jesus Christ, and so people die in their sins and go to hell. We don't want that to happen. We want we have to be saved from the wrath of God. So that makes sense. Just trying to basically, what we're trying to do is kind of mediate everything. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. We don't want to infringe on your rights or anything, but we're yeah. trying to ask you. To you guys can possibly just move it down yeah. to the stairwell, right before the stairwell at all. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, we would take into consideration. Yeah. So if so, if we were like right down there and there, would that be okay? I'm sorry, what? Well, like just right down there at the intersection there, and maybe so you, there. You kind of see like at the bottom of the stairwell. That's totally the complete the bottom. Right, no, the way down, like. Around the so this would this wouldn't be okay down well, here. It is a walkway. I don't want you know. Well, we would be impeding traffic. You know. Yeah. Well, no, nobody's done it. We haven't blocked any, anyone, and you can see that on the video. We're just standing here. People have plenty of easement to get by, so we're not doing that. So what do you think? Uh, just give me a few seconds, all right? Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. So we, our attorney had this written up at the Pacific Justice Institute. I didn't, I didn't read it. Oh, do you want to take some time to read it? Let's skim through it. But basically, the idea is that we oh we were God. trespassed at uh, <laughs> SOU. I yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should have highlighted some of the things. Yeah, but I, probably. Yeah, but the idea, just the overall thing, is is suppression of free speech, and and there could be a lawsuit uh, in regards to that. No, it was Pacific uh, Justice Institute. Matt, Pacific Justice Institute is represents us. Oh, so okay. Ray Hackey is the attorney. I, I read the first sentence. I was like, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Not a big deal. Yeah, so that's the idea. So we were trespassed from uh, SOU, and so I asked them to write us a letter. Are you Mr. Clement? Yes, I'm Mr. Clement, yeah. I'm just trying to get it. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Sometimes you get to be Caitlin. Yeah. What, what, you said one, sorry, is this, one is this a, is something happened at SU that I'm completely missing? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I explained it to him, but maybe I didn't. So we got trespassed from SOU. Okay. So I'd been to three different events there. I don't remember the exact order, but two of them were LGBT related. Another one was unrelated. Okay. And um, and so I just stood there with my sign, and uh, it was actually a, a, a similar sign to this. It's a little bigger, but I just stood there and offered people gospel tracks. 
and oh, okay. Danielle or make a disturbance Sorry, I'm or anything. Familiar with it. Yeah, and I, I was out. You guys were out during the Fourth of July. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I'm, I'm with all RV salt shakers, and so um, anyway, the the college called the police, and the police said that we need to leave. In other words, go out to the outside in the courtyard area. And I said, well, what, hap what happens if I don't? They said, well, we'll have to trespass. And I said, okay, well, I'll move to the outside because I don't want to get uh, trespassed because mm -hmm. I want to preach the gospel, right? Gotcha. <laughs> so that would cut that short. So, but I said, well, well our attorney will be in contact with you and uh, SOU. Gotcha. So, gotcha. yeah. yeah. Is there anything not, specific about this place I miss? No, it's just it's just the okay. uh, the idea so that for suppression that. of free speech and and he'll uh, gladly send a, a letter to um, to the library and then and I think he sent one to, to the Ashland Police Department. I, I'm not I can't remember. I know he sent one to S O U. It's possible. I we have so many emails. That oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, the digging it's through. It's my Monday, so. Yep, oh, yep. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Great way to start a week. Huh? <laughs> So yeah, I don't is there like another entrance? Because well, hardly. Yeah, there's multiple entrances. Oh, is there? Okay, maybe they came in the other way. We're hoping they come in this way. Different parking lots. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. There's also probably an entrance in the back. Yeah, there is. Oh, okay, okay. It's a three-story or so building. So. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Well, oh, hope, hoping to, to engage people here in this area. Yeah, how's and, that going for you? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, these these folks started shouting and things like that, and doesn't you bother me, what? but uh, is not what we were doing. yeah. And, uh, so, so I have it all on video, and that's that's why we record so mainly we for it, we have it on video too. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least so, some of it, not all of it. Yeah, yeah. So if anybody has any questions about what did what okay. they say, what did they act like, we can rewind and all that stuff. So yeah. anyway, but um, there's really not much else going on. So okay. maybe we'll go. Can maybe ask, we'll grab a bite. Can I ask why specifically the library? Well, because there's the queer coffee house thing going on. Did you, were you aware of that? It's my Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I just catching up from <laughs> last right? week. So yeah, so there's an LGBT thing gathering here. Today. The Bible says it's sin, and that and Is that, that like they, today? I'm just asking. Yeah, 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 it's it's one to one to three. Okay. So we came here a little early to hopefully engage people with the gospel of Jesus Christ before that, okay. because it, the Bible says that, that uh, homosexuality is sin, and even those that oh, yeah, that uh, yeah and. To maybe agree with that, maybe not, but um, but that that those that even agree with it are in sin as well. And we don't want people to go to hell. We don't okay. want them to die in their sins. Okay. Uh, so that's and that's why you you know you read the sign. It, it includes LGBT, but also other sins as well. Because it's not just about homosexuality. It's about lying, theft, blasphemy, lust, idolatry, so forth, breaking of the Ten Commandments. Because that's why people go to hell is because they've broken God's law, right? So it's not just, we're not singling out homosexuals, but this particular um, particular event has LGBT. Yeah. This sign, they're saying that it's all about love, all about love. You've got to love everybody, and, but they can't even love their own neighbor, which is being killed every single day. Right, so far there's been 100% correlation with LGBT and abortion. Everyone I've met that whether they're uh, whether they're actual LGBT or they're LGBT friendly, they may not be a gay or lesbian, but they agree with the lifestyle, the sin. Uh, then they are they are pro-abortion. I found that to be 100% true, and that's why that sign is so powerful. But, yeah. But, uh, so I'm John Clement. Riley. Nice to meet you, Riley. What was your name? Evan. How are you doing? Evan. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. So what what is your goal? Okay. Well, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay. To and get so through, to get through to people, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you? Where's your? If you were down the sidewalk, you can get through just as many people as you are right here, and then. Mm -hmm. You know, people on both sides of the fence are happy. Yeah, yeah. Do you see where I'm coming Yeah, I'd see, you know, we're going to minimize commotion and all that stuff, I know. I mean, we show up and, I mean, from my outside part, it might be worse because we're here. I'm not saying it is or anything like that. It's just, 
feeling of the when you're saying talk to us, people might have a negative view on it. Well, if yeah, we're down there, nobody's gonna call, and we never have to call and talk to you. Do you understand mm -hmm. where I'm coming from? Yeah, when you guys have more important things to do, there's probably right. drug yeah. deals and, and yeah. robberies yeah. going on and stuff. Just help us out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we got, we'll probably go to lunch, but uh, and we may come back. But I, th I think what we'll do is we'll just hang out down there on the sidewalk. Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. Minimize commotion. You're gonna get just as many people, you know, seeing the signs, yeah. stuff like this, that. And might even so more this sign should be okay down there. Well, yeah, that's true. People drive. It's a good point. I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this sign, you, if you may know, it's it's pretty uh, infamous in this town, but even all over uh, Rogue Valley. It actually came from uh, up in Roseburg, but uh, but it's been people just hate the sign because. Because it has the law and the gospel and people that hate God hate his law and they hate him but they can still be saved so so we'll go to lunch and, and come back we'll probably be back around maybe 245 you may get some calls I don't know but